You're listening to PGR Pop Gospel Radio. Keep it locked right here, y'all. Pop Gospel Radio. And we are the sound of the the community. community. Get ready for Rachel Raquel. She's our host today for On On The The Set. Entitled Usher the Spirit. 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 and receive the sound of the community Pop Gospel DJs. This portion of the show is sponsored by Bedlou. Let the world help you decide. Download the app today. That's Bedlou. B-E-D-L-O-O. More new music. Yes, you are. Gospel. Gospel DJs. And if you like what you're hearing, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are the sound of the community. community. Right about now, it's time for on, on the, the set, 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 I am Rachel Raquel. We welcome you to on the set. Today we have a very special guest, football coach, minister, and a man of God. He goes by the name of Dennis Higgins. able to tell the good news of what the Lord is doing in my life. As a fitness instructor, over 20 years of being able to help the community in Encino and Los Angeles, period, teaching the people about the temple of God, of how to take care of the physical part of the body as well as the mental part of the body that God has blessed each and every one of us with. So I'm just a vessel being used by God to come in the community and, and help all those from, I believe I have clients starting from eight years old all the way to 85 years old, and that consists of everything that you can imagine in the fitness world. I understood long time ago that I am nothing without the Word of God, without Jesus Christ in my life. This did not come to pass. It's just a flat out thing. It could not come to pass. How long have you been in the business? I've been doing this, uh, like I said, 21 years, and it's been great. I go all over the city of Los Angeles. I start in Encino and end up in San Pedro, Palos Verdes, Santa Monica, uh, Brentwood, California, and continue spreading the love of Jesus Christ to all that will listen. And also, in the athletic ram of things, I am a volunteer football coach, which I mentor and talk to young men uh, about sports, habits of sport. What is a student athlete? What is a student athlete's demeanor? How do you carry yourself as a student athlete? But everything starts with being humble to the Word of God. And this is what I teach our young people at a young age. Do you know the first person besides your dad that's going to talk to a young man will be his pop Warner coach, his football coach, his basketball coach. That is a mentor in the community. This is where I am now, talking to young men, encouraging them. But having the Lord Jesus Christ in your life will make things much easier for you down the road as you grow up to be a man. And uh, a father is a, a, a strong, strong vessel. That God ordained a man to be the head of the house, to be that man that will teach a young boy how to be a man. And uh, it's been wonderful, it's been great. Uh, there's not a day I get up that I, I'm not excited to go visit the people, to spread the good news. I have been ordained as a minister. In the last eight days, I received my license to preach the Word of God. I've been following Christ for 13 years. My bishop, James A. Taylor, over at New Freedom Missionary Baptist Church in downtown Los Angeles, saw something in me. 13 years ago, and it came to pass the last eight days that I received my license to preach the word of God. So I'm very excited with the Lord is getting ready to do with me in the next realm of my life. You know, there's this old saying, ears have not heard and eyes have not seen what the Lord is getting ready to do next. 
So I encourage everyone who are listening to this broadcast to understand that the Lord has not done with you yet. If you breathe it, you got a chance to do whatever you want to do. And the devil is going to be defeated one way or the other. And that's my, that's my testimony and that's the way I speak. Amen. What's your biggest accomplishment since you started? Since I started training, uh, Rachel, my biggest accomplishment is being able to watch young men under my tutelage, guys that I mentor, go on to universities and become successful ball players, and also successful men of God who come back. And Coach D, I remember what you used to tell me about how to pray. And Coach D, you you told me to don't give up. Coach D, you may have me get on my knees and pray. Amen. So that's some of the, the big accomplishments. We like to let our listeners know what are your missions and goals. My goal is to save and tell the truth. Tell the truth. Be a big light, a physical light. I'm a big man. And I believe that God did not make no cowards. He wanted true soldiers. He wanted real men with integrity. Men that did had some fights in the bottom. And if you know, the Lord never ever surrounded his. You know, the, the best thing, Rachel, the Lord had. He had 12 disciples. Three of them was in his inner circle. And I believe that the Lord has placed me here to draw men. Not to wait till I'm in a wheelchair or I'm blind, but to draw men to God as a godly man. And that's what I'm here to do. Can you elaborate and tell us a little more about yourself? Well, I'm a father of three boys. I have two adult sons and I have a 12-year-old son. I have a strong passion and love for people, people in general, just a love for people. The most interesting things that I like to get out and let people know that I'm like David. I'm after a brother that's after God's own heart. And that's who I am, and that's who I live by, and that's who I look to please. I want to please God. I can remember a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King. As they came to talk to Reverend King, and they asked him a question. They said, well, we want you to do our will. My man, Brother King, said, I'm not here to do your will. I'm here to do God's will. So when you talk to Brother Dennis, I'm here to do God's will. Amen. Can you let our listeners know if there's any upcoming events? Yes. Um, there are football camps. As you know, we're going into the summer. We have football camps from our 8 to 15-year-olds all over the city of Los Angeles. We have Ravens football in Calabasas that I'm going to be a part of uh, that camp over there. I am the conditioning coach. And what I do is get these young men ready to go on the team. So we have a lot of football stuff coming up in the city here. And we are uh, located, a lot of our stuff is over at Balboa Park in Encino. And this is ran from 5.30 to 7 o'clock, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if anybody have any questions about that, they can contact me. If our listeners wanted to know how to contact you, how would they do so? Well, there's a couple of ways. You can actually go on a line and find BigHeartDennis at gmail.com. That's BigHeartDennis at gmail.com. You can also contact me at 818-437-6296. Anything to do with fitness and health and working with our young people, that's the passion, that's the love, and that's what the Lord sent me. Thank you, Dennis. Is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know? I would like to let the listeners know right now that the Lord is the light. If you got the will, God got the way. In the name of Jesus, amen and thank God. Thank you, Dennis Higgins, for your visit as you are truly blessed. You're listening to On The Set with Rachel Raquel, BGR, Bob Gospel Radio. And this concludes another episode of On the Set. And we are the Black Gospel DJs, the sound of the community. Thank you, Rachel Raquel. And also, we thank you to Mr. Coach and Minister, y'all, the man of God, Mr. Dennis Higgins. You're listening to Pop Gospel Radio. You are listening to BG. Or Bob, Bob Gospel Radio. Brand new music right here, y'all. Save my soul by the Bob Gospel DJs. Go to YouTube right now. Comment. Go to Facebook right now. Like us. Twitter. Send it to your friends. Share this video on Pinterest. And go to bednew.com and cash your vote today.
HBY.